to what? What you said, at least in the open session. Now we want to know about the voices. Ah, right, okay, yeah, no, I'll tell you all, don't worry. Yeah. Okay, right, well, thank you. I've just uh, finished the uh, briefing of the Security Council on Somalia. Sure. Thanks a lot. Uh, I wanted to, to, to ask you about the, the deployment of UNSOM beyond Mogadishu in terms of, you know, as, the, as this federalization process goes by, what, what's sort of the timeline, what are the, what are the roadblocks, and also if you could give some update on, on Somaliland, which in the report is put in quotation marks, didn't hear that much in the open session. What, how does it stand between uh, Hargeisa and Mogadishu? Uh, okay, I mean, the UNSOM presence is already outside of Mogadishu. We have uh, staff in Kismayo, in Baidoa, and very soon in Bella Twain. Uh, and then we have an office in uh, Puntland, in, in Garraway as well. Uh, on Somaliland, uh, we have uh, been in close contact with the Somaliland government recently, and I think they're very keen to see a strengthening of the engagement of UNSOM in Hargeza. So I think we'll see that happen quite soon. An actual, I, mean, you, you, I know that there was a dispute about the office being there. Is that, do you think that will be solved? Uh, I think that uh, they're very happy to have uh, uh, UNSOM staff working in Hargeza. I guess I wanted to, I noticed in your, in your statement in the open chamber, you talked about this UN guard unit of the Ugandans and said that, but that more may be needed. Are you looking for to enlargement of that force by Uganda? What, what, what were you proposing? And also I noticed that you began by, by thanking the president for giving you questions, I guess, before the briefing. Have, has that been done before? Is this the first time? And, and uh, what were the questions? Uh, good. Um, yeah, the Guard unit has been invaluable for protecting the, the UN uh, presence in, in Mogadishu, uh, and they've done an excellent job. Uh, as we are expanding our presence in Mogadishu, uh, we do need additional guard units, and we are already requesting 120 uh, expansion just to do the existing tasking. But there is a question linked to your first question about as we expand our presence in the regions, um, then would there be a role for a guard unit operating to protect us in the regions as well? And I think that will be looked at over the next uh, few months. Um, uh, the questions, uh, I believe, was the, the first time uh, the Chinese have just taken the presidency this month, the Security Council, and uh, have tried uh, a new approach to help briefers uh, such as me uh, to address more uh, fully uh, the Security Council's interests. Security Council members were invited to submit written questions on the eve of the, the briefing. So I received the written questions about six o'clock last night. Did you pull them all um, I'm, sure some of my I'm sure some of my team did. Uh, if you don't mind, I have one more question, which is that the, the, the Somalia Eritrea Monitoring Group uh, reports have, have named some un, un, unlikely or seemingly unlikely parties as having violated technically and, and otherwise the sanctions regime. What's the, do you, does your office play any role in, in seeking uh, compliance with the sanctions, whether by the Somali government or by the other people named in the, in the reports? Um, we certainly support, uh, are mandated to support the work of the Somali Eritrea Monitoring Group, uh, and, uh, and we do that um, mostly practically and logistically, but, uh, but otherwise as well we are assisting the Somalis to build their capacity to meet the, the requirements of the sanctions regime proper weapons and ammunition management, et cetera, et cetera. So, so we do that. Did, did you see the, the letter by one of the, the, the monitoring group's members uh, holding up an Eritrean expatriate as, as a likely future or posit, positive future leader for Eritrea? And, and what did you think of that? I think that was the last Somali Eritrea monitoring group, and there is a new one now. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Matthew.